my classes online. I I had never I completed my entire degree never having set foot on this campus, and I had I had to come here to get my cap and gown. When I got here, I realized it was it was such a moment of realization that I had gotten a degree from my living room. I I'm so grateful to SMC for the ed education that I received. I believe that every student, you know, contributes to their school, whether it's through their writing or through their art or through their, you know, participation. Um, I wanted to make my contribution too. And, you know, I've had some wonderful teachers. I mean, all of my teachers have been excellent. And I couldn't pick one. And so the library felt like a very, a, a good neutral place that I could put some art that all of my teachers could see, but not just the teachers, the administrators, the counselors, you know, everybody that, that makes Santa Monica College work. I mean, for that matter, the people who, you know, talk me through my FAFSA, FAFSA and I'm just, I'm just really grateful for the education that I've gotten. As an artist, it's the number one way that I know how to give back. I selected these particular pieces because uh, on the so on the day that I came to pick up my cap and gown, uh, I was wandering around and just kind of aimlessly, and I decided to come into the library just to see. I'm looking around, just thinking like, man, I like missed out, like I wasn't here, like COVID, like okay, this this is my moment to take it all in. I was looking around and I saw the art. They've got art on the walls, you know? Okay, maybe I should put a piece of it. And so I went to the information desk and I asked the person there. And then Steve came down. And so uh, we discussed it. You know, I, I, I pitched a couple ideas. And I said, you know what? If y'all would let me be an artist about it, I'd like to come down and we can point at every wall, figure out the blank spaces, and decide where this art could go. Because I was only thinking about one piece, you know? I kind of had that, that column on, on my mind, because there's a, there's a pretty obvious So I started scrolling through all this art, and I knew that Finite Past Infinite Futures was just a hit. It looks like a book. It looks like a book. Put it up, right? The, the first day that I came here, I took a photo of the library. And I knew I was gonna, I was not gonna be done until I did something with that photo. So that's knowledge is waiting. But actually, in that moment when we were sitting down there, I was, Steve was with me. And we were strolling through, and he stopped me on quasi opticon Was all like, that was like information transfer. And I was like, that is the piece that's gonna go with. Me. And so it was hard when you're looking at that many pieces. It, it does, it does get a little dicey I'm like uh maybe I'll just do 17 um, but I'm very 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 happy with the pieces that we picked and uh, yeah I also wired these paintings myself which was uh, nerve-wracking and exciting but I did a good job I did all the googling <laughs>